seven, three, twelve, seven, zero. University of Georgia scientists are counting on a tiny wasp to save the popular Gerber daisy from an insect that finds its leaves tasty. A member of the sunflower family, Gerber daisies come in a variety of colors like yellow, pink, orange, white, and red. It is widely grown for the cut flower market and is an ornamental plant. The pest that's attacking it, the leaf miner, does just that. As an adult, the female leaf miner lays an egg in each of these leaves, or maybe more than one egg, depending on the size of the leaf. And once the egg hatches a larva, an immature develops out of it, and they slowly tunnel through the leaf. The leaf miner's feeding pattern makes the leaves variegated, and growers are left with plants that are unsellable for the potted plant market. Talking about Gerbera daisies, when the photosynthetic part is decreased, that uh, reduces the production. When the uh, stippling on the stems increase, or when the leaf miner adults feed on the stem, the length of the stem reduces. So if you were to sell Gerbera daisies, they need a minimum length for the stem and the flowers should be in pristine condition. You wouldn't pay money to buy a leaf that's all crinkled and brown. So uh, whatever the leaf miner does, it harms the flower, the plant. Chemical control is difficult as immature leaf miners live inside the leaves. Having been in the United States since the early 1960s, the pest has built up resistance to many chemical control methods. UGA College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences entomologists are looking at several options for controlling the pest. In greenhouses on the UGA campus in Griffin, Georgia, graduate student Cherry Abraham is introducing a leaf miner's parasitoid. This tiny wasp is a natural way to control the leaf miner. Biological control uh, simply means using one organism to control another living organism. So biological control of our leaf miners can be accomplished by using commercially available parasitic wasps. And these wasps are released into the greenhouse and they lay their eggs inside the immature stage of the leaf miner, which is in turn inside the leaves. Abraham is also studying characteristics of Gerber daisies that the leaf miner doesn't like, such as the tiny hairs on the plant's stem and waxy leaves. So the point of the project is to try to find alternative means to control this whole group of pests on Gerber daisies so that we can keep a sustainable biological control program in place for managing leaf miners on Gerber daisies. For more information on UGA CAES programs, see the college's website at www.caes.uga.edu.